Hi, my name is Balvinder Singh Sagu. I run a company called Kenya Hydraulics. Uh, we specialize in uh, hydraulic and pneumatic equipment, spares and service, uh, where we provide our services to different market sectors. Um, today we are here to showcase one of our local developments, which is a hay and silage baler. Uh, which I think is going to benefit uh, the small scale farmers and cooperatives and this is my story. supporting farmers in terms of sales and service of uh, other components used on farm equipment but we thought it's the right time for us to try and develop uh, a machine which can help local farmers manage silage. Silage is becoming a big business these days so that's how the idea came about. We tried to design a machine which uh, is going to use hydraulic power with minimum rotating components, minimum maintenance and we can actually adjust the kind of pressures we want on for depending on different materials, how much you want to squeeze the material into a bale, uh, what kind of density you want to get out of it. And uh, basically what we have here for the showcase is the electric model. However, we can design it, the same machine can be run off a tractor PTO or using a diesel engine. So it becomes very versatile in terms of uh, the power source. This machine has a power pack, which is a source of power, the hydraulic oil tank, We've got two cylinders, one for pushing and one for ejecting the bale. This here is the manual control valve for actuating the cylinders, forward and reverse. So basically what we do is feed all the material into this cavity, close the lids and just uh, using this control valve we're going to press the bale into the final cavity there and then eject it out as a square bale of uh, properly compacted silage. The machines in the market are actually doing round bales. So when you actually try and stack the round bales, you find a lot of space in between the bales, which is actually a waste of space. So the unique feature about this machine is that the, the, the shape of the bale is either square or rectangular, which gives the farmer an advantage of space saving and compared to the round bales where you have a lot of interspace between the bales. So I think that is one of the unique advantages of this machine, apart from uh, a better compaction ratio compared to the other machines. So let's show you how we're going to achieve that bale using our machine. So basically from the round shape that we had earlier, we now have this uh, very square shape which means better space utilization and uh, in the end uh, uh, stacking becomes much more easier uh, with uh, very little inter uh, bale space between the bales. We are working with small scale farmers and cooperatives. Uh, because of the unique size of this bale, 20 to 25 kilos, it becomes very ideal for the small scale farmers. And when they come together and try and use this equipment uh, as a group or as a cooperative, they end up giving quality feeds to their animals, which would ha otherwise have been a challenge for them. Well, this machine uh, is priced between 600 to 900,000. We have various variations. We have various customizations we can do it to it, like mount it on a trailer, uh, use a diesel engine instead of an electric motor if there's no power on the farm or the site.
So the price range actually it varies between 600 to 900,000 plus VAT. Basically we can do any size we want, but just for easier handling of the bales, in which you don't really need any specialized equipment like uh, lift trucks or forklifts or something to lift up a very heavy bale, we decided to, to stick to 25 to maximum maybe 40 kilos so that at least one or two people can handle the bale very easily compared to the very big bales for which you need specialized equipment. Going forward, I believe this innovation is going to be very key in, in uh, how farmers are going to manage and store their silage, which actually uh, translates to better feed for their cows or their livestock. And in the end, uh, uh, farmers get better income and better livelihoods out of the activities they're doing on a daily basis. So that's my story as an innovator and I'm curious to know what other innovators are doing for the agricultural sector. Share your story.